Welcome to Lawn Care. Today we will be mowing on the Mills County map. We have headed over to a new county to mow for a few new clients. Our setup today consists of a 06 Duramax, a single axle utility trailer, and the walker mower. Let's hop in the Duramax, put the ramp down, and get going. Our customer today has asked us to bag, so the walker was the go-to. This mower is perfect with the built-in bagging system, and this is a brand new mower from a buck as well, which is pretty awesome. Since it was a busy day today here mowing lawns, I decided why don't we just get going at the new county. So I got loaded up at the shop and I made my way over here a few hours ago. This walker mower will make pretty quick work here of this big, uh, big lawn. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day has been a bit busy, but so far it's been good. Oh yeah, the walker mower should have no problem. It's really efficient, and the bagging system will definitely do a great job at collecting all of the clippings. So far we've been very busy here with the landscaping series, a lot of different things going on uh, since moving to the new map and we have a lot of drops lined up here for us but we still have to continue uh, to mow for our over 50 plus lawns every single week so we have a busy schedule and we make it work pretty well. We are here on the brand new Mills County map. It's one pretty cool map. Really do recommend it uh, for uh, so many cool things. And I really do like uh, the layout. The walker mower is a pretty good mower getting around obstacles like uh, this big uh, pile, a uh, big nice stack of firewood. It actually looks pretty good. And they do have a tarp over it as well. Let me know down below in the comments what is your favorite mower that I've ran so far. We do have some pretty cool mowers in Farm Sim and, and definitely uh, some more we will be using coming up. Now there does seem to be a uh, hose reel there so we'll have to kind of watch out for that but more than likely uh, we won't have any problems. Usually with uh, the customers I usually send out a text just letting them know that we are stopping by and that usually helps uh, not have anything in the yard. If you guys have not already, I do recommend you subscribe here to the channel and go check me out over on Instagram. I do post some pretty cool daily updates and videos and sneak peeks as well. Now the walker does lay down some pretty epic stripes and I definitely uh, will have a nice uh, finished product when we're done. Like I did touch upon, big shout goes out to Buck from the Rental Man Buck channel. He did send over this mower pack here. We're working casters and a lot of updates to it and really uh, has improved these videos here. The 52 inch deck is probably the perfect pairing for the mower as well. And we do need to come by with a weed eater, go around uh, to all the fence posts. But with this mower, we could pretty much go underneath uh, that bottom uh, row as well.
This will be a pretty busy week here for us. We will be back with a homeowner series at the end of the week, uh, doing some big, big improvements to the house, and uh, we do have some other uh, epic videos coming as well. We do have a few landscaping jobs coming up this week, and uh, we will be starting jobs every single week. Just trying to get them done since it's a very busy season here for us. Spring is busy with mulch, uh, spring cleanups, and so many different things since everyone wants to get out of the house from the winter and get going on making their yard look the best. Now, for a yard of this size, a walker would probably need to be emptied, I would say, uh, three or four times at the least, and I uh, really do wish we had that function, but that will be a bit tricky to do in a uh, farming simulator because there's no way to pick it up once we pretty much put it on the ground unless we uh, kind of... Uh, uh, can unload it right into a can. Usually you would unload this into a can then put it in the bed of the truck or uh, the dump truck. Oh yeah, look at that. This would fit right underneath that fence there and really do a great job. have to be a bit more careful here with the garage. Uh, now one thing with the walker is since you do have that big big uh, bag collection system it is a bit trickier uh, to move around and if you don't remember that you have that uh, you could definitely scrape it alongside the house, damage it and then uh, we will have to let the customer know. And that seems to be it here. Wow, pretty big property we did. And these mowers are really efficient and uh, it wasn't too bad. We usually cut it at the usual three and a half uh, inches. We'll just do a little bit more here along the side uh, one more time around, just trying to get as close as we can. And we'll uh, have to send someone out here to uh, weed it around each post. There will definitely be a lot more videos coming here on the Mills County map. I really do like this map so far. A lot of cool things uh, that we could do. Just trying to go to that extra level here for our customer. Uh, making sure they get the quality service because we are a bit pricey uh, when it comes to the uh, weekly maintenance. That Duramax here looks so cool. It's a 2006 regular cab. It's pretty much a base trim level. We do have the appearance package on it. And other than that, I mean, it is a pretty awesome truck. Really works well. And it has over 52,000 miles on it. So it's a, it's a great uh, work truck here for us. But that's pretty much it here. I actually want to back this on uh, the trailer this time. I think that would be a pretty neat thing to do. Backed on here, really do like the deck. Look at that, and this trailer is perfect here. Usually, a single axle like this is probably perfect uh, for a one mower and also uh, maybe a push mower. Now, since it was a long drive over here to the county, just over a half hour, I really do want to fill up the Duramax with diesel, and also I do want to top off the uh, walker here since uh, I did not bring a gas can. And there's a gas station luckily right here. Actually, let's kind of go down uh, to the uh, side entrance. This will be a little bit easier to kind of head out of. And I think we'll kind of head inside there to grab a quick uh, snack as well. Let's first get the Duramax and then uh, we'll pull it forward for the mower. And it looks like $42 here to fill up the Duramax. Let's move it forward and we'll fill it up here on the walker. Now the walker just takes regular uh, 87 octane. Let's put it in the gas tank there. 
And I just grabbed a bag of Doritos and a few bottles of water. Now it looks like we do actually have some uh, landscape company turning in. Why don't we uh, chat with them and see how they're doing today. But so far, uh, we've done uh, one uh, property and we do have quite a few more here on the list. That is one awesome Duramax. Looks to be the last gen Duramax here, and looks like they run deer. Hey there. Uh -huh. How you doing there, bud? Good. How about you? Uh, not too bad. Uh, sorry, my park job. I grabbed to grab a quick snack here. Uh, do you own a landscape company over there, bud? Yes, I do. Do you? Yeah. Actually, I just got done with a job. I just uh, finished yeah. up on a lawn. Oh, you did? Well, what's the name of your company? Squarescape Landscaping. Oh, I think I've—I don't think I've heard of that. Where are you guys based out of? I'm out of the county over. Oh, that's probably why I might have heard of you. Because I'm—I'm same thing. I'm probably—I mean, east or west of here. West. Oh, uh, I'm east, so that—that that would explain why. So surprised that we got the same county here. Uh, what? I never got your name. What's your name, bud? Square. Square. I'm Buck. How you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, I was just gonna go inside and get a cup of, get a uh, get a donut and a glass. Of, uh, <laughs> I was gonna go inside and get a donut and a bottle of water. I don't know about you, but all right, I, what are you, what are you running over there? Is that a walker? Yes, I'm walking the uh, full walker with a bagging system. Ooh, you got the fancy stuff. Oh, I love this trailer. Yeah, it's a single axle. Yeah, I love those pinstripes it's got on it. Really nice design there. Uh, so how are you, what's like what's kind of scale do you guys do for lawns? Is it we do a lot of hardscaping and we do the weekly lawn maintenance. This is one of the many uh, setups that we run. Oh, that's that's nice. I mean, it's, it's not good to have a scale of what you're going to be running. But I don't know about you. Uh, depending on what the jobs are coming up. I mean, if we ever need to do any, I, if I ever run out of room, if I have a shorthanded, would you be able to possibly help sometime? Yeah, sure. All right. Well, I will I have a business card with me here in my wallet. So if you ever need me, I'm Buck. I work for Rental Rocket Landscaping. I'm actually the head founder of it. But I'll catch you in just a second. I'm actually going to go in here and I'm going to grab a, again, the donut and water. So I'll be right back. All right. I was actually surprised you still stuck around, but... Uh, we kind of got a little bit of an offer, say, from the guy of town here, but I'm not sure if you'd be willing to help me with it. So the head main maintenance guy at the town here, they said that they got a baseball tournament so for some of the kids tonight, and the mower that they have for the field is actually down. It's not working right. And he asked if, because he saw that we literally two landscape guys here, would you possibly be willing to help me mow the baseball field? Yeah, sure. I could definitely fit it in today. Okay. I mean, I got nothing to do. I'm just heading back to the shop, if anything. So I think it's on the north side of town's where the field's at. They said just do the whole field wherever it was. I mean, if you want to run the walker in the infield, because outfield usually they can leave the grass shavings. But, you I mean, if you want to use that walker on the infield, that'd be probably pretty fun. Yeah, let's head over there. All right. I'll meet you over there in just a second, bud. Thank you. All right, so it looks like we are going to work here with another company to help out the local town. And we'll definitely push off the few more lawns we are doing and go give a hand. Usually these baseball fields are pretty large, but uh, definitely with a few extra people here should uh, be a pretty easy mow. And this seems to be the street here. I can actually probably see the baseball field here in the distance. Usually they're pretty big and uh, easy to kind of find in these farm towns. And we have arrived, so I think I will just uh, park up right along here. And this looks like a pretty big uh, baseball field here for us. Let's pull up just enough to uh, let them in.
You like running these deers? Oh, I love them. That that little belt driven uh, GS forty five. That's that's my main that's my main uh, running machine besides our new uh, Hustler Super Z that we got back at the shop. But I didn't know if I was I didn't know I was going to be mowing a, a baseball field today. So <laughs> kind of glad that I got you with the walker to help out with that extra forty eight inch deck. Yeah. I think that there should be a few ways into the uh, baseball field here for us. Yeah, probably right around the dugout areas. They'll have the little uh, entrances, little gates to get in and out. Probably have to do those. I'll have to see if I have to pull the little backup trick where you get part of the deck on the inside of the fence line and then back it through so it's kind of like a shorter deck. I don't know, depending on how wide the gap is, but I'm actually going to get this fired up here quick. Cause, All right, let me get mine fired up and get going. All right. All right, you ready to go? Yep, I'm going to get going on the infield, and then I will help out uh, yep. around the dugouts as well. Sweet. Let's do this. Let's get going here with the walker. Usually the walker is pretty good at, uh, for collecting, and I think uh, we'll do a great job here. Now, we don't want any clippings to go into the dirt, and it looks freshly raked. These big baseball fields definitely require a few extra people. Luckily, uh, today the town has a few helping out. Now, let's see if we can do some pretty good stripes uh, and definitely have this look pretty good for the game tonight. If you guys want to see more uh, cool multiplayer content like this, drop a like and let me know down below. Let's get around the uh, baseball hump here. Let me know down below in the comments, guys. Do you play baseball? And what is the uh, professional team that you do uh, watch? I, I do watch uh, quite a lot of baseball games here, and it's definitely a lot of fun to play with a group of friends. Four baseball fields definitely need a 72 inch or even uh, probably a 60 inch at the uh, smallest because these are some pretty big fields but uh, luckily like a did touch upon we do have a few extra people. Uh, these stripes are going to look pretty cool here from the uh, stadium seats. Maybe at the end of today uh, we'll, we'll walk up there and just look at the uh, nice stripes that uh, the mower gives. I think the walker for the baseball fields would probably be the mulching decks and the 72-inch uh, without the baggers. Those are pretty cool. Would be awesome uh, to get a, a few of those and farm some as well. Or, or maybe the grasshopper uh, would be a good choice for these uh, big size fields. Let's get alongside the dirt here with a built-in vacuum system here on the walker. We really don't have to worry about any uh, kind of uh, shooting out on the dirt. We're making pretty good headway here. I'd say we are. Um, obviously mine's not as noticeable because I'm kind of going in a very unorganized yeah. ring, but you're definitely making headway. What are you going on? I've been like 12? Yeah, I'm maxing out. The walkers have a pretty fast travel speed uh, for mowing. It's 11, 12 miles per hour. I say that thing is that thing is that thing is moving, dude. <laughs> yeah, 
I uh, definitely uh, will help you out once I get these sections done on the outside. I was going to say, do you, uh, I didn't do the outside of the foul line on the le- on the right side of the field, so if you want to do that side as well, that'd be great. Yeah, I would do that. All right. This Mills County map I recently found and so far have really been enjoying it. It's a pretty nice town, and it does have farm fields surrounding it, which is pretty neat. Now, I have been working on my brand new map. It's a lot, a lot of work, but it will be one awesome uh map in general and it's going to be a great one and it looks like he has a brand new mower here i was getting tired of walking so i went and grabbed the other mower yeah that's a good idea this definitely has a good traveling speed as well oh yeah i was able to I'm a, instead of being able to go like six or seven i'm able to go at least 11 with this thing so a little bit shorter cutting width but sometimes the speed's a little bit better is it a 52 inch uh 48 Ah. Uh a little bit shorter about four inches so all right i, I, I might get be, back to the outfield i'll what? be definitely helping you out out there after a few passes here all right and it looks like we pretty much have this done so let's kind of go out here to the outfield and this will be a lot of work here but i don't think it should take too long with uh two people at this big section and that's pretty much it here. So let's kind of head back over to uh, the trucks and we'll get loaded up. Now it looks like I will push those two lawns I wanted to mow today to tomorrow. And I will definitely get those done tomorrow morning pretty early before I uh, get going on the landscape projects. And let's get loaded up. Get the Duramax warmed up here, put the ramp up, and let's go have a chat with Buck. That was a lot of mowing at the field we just did. Oh yeah. I gotta try and load this thing up here. These casters are weird. They don't it's like they're just wide enough to where they can get on the ramp, but if I don't hit it just right, then they don't work before i go. take the mower out the next time i'm going to scrape the uh deck to I oh yeah unclog it. That. that's the longest thing i've ever seen a baseball field actually have for grass yeah that was a lot of grass we mowed it's nice to get up and uh, stretch after that definitely i mean my legs are sore just from standing but then just standing even more yeah there we go. Well, that was a fun one. Yeah, that was awesome oh. that uh, we could work together uh, and mm -hmm. bring the two companies to do something good for the uh, baseball uh, players. Oh, yes. I think they'll be able to have that league tournament tonight. Should yeah. be nice and clean out there. I mean, we spread it out enough to where they I don't think they have to worry about, like, clumps and, and tripping and all that stuff. But I don't know about you, but... My schedule is I got stuff that I got to do later this afternoon with paperwork. So thank you again for your service here, bud. And I'll probably be heading back over to my shop. If you ever need to stop by, we're over, just like you know, the other county over. And that's just where we're out of. So yeah, I will definitely uh, give you a call on the next big mower project. All right. Hopefully this time I am actually intelligent, come prepared, and I have my zero turn with me. Because yep. I don't think I'm going to be cutting with a 48 inch again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's too small. All right, but, talk to you later. I, all right, thanks, bud. Have a good one. You too. I hope you guys enjoyed today's lawn care video in multiplayer with Bug. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one and subscribe for more.